hi guys today in this video I'm going to teach you how to make an electric generator from a 220 volts drill machine now this pulley that you see I got it from Banggood's link for this will be provided in the description the bore size of the pulley is 8 mm so I will need a shaft of 8 mm size here as you can see that I have connected uh, the drill machine terminals to the clamp meter and, it, and as you can see when I run the shaft it generates around 1 to 1.5 volts DC because of the presence of residual magnetism now let's connect this LED and test if it generates enough voltage and current to light it up okay but as you can see that it is not lighting it up because the presence of magnetic field is very weak So guys as you saw that the setup worked pretty smooth now what I'm going to do is connect the multimeter in the DC mode voltage measurement mode and then I'm going to run the motor to run the drill machine and measure the generated voltage.
as you saw guys that it generated around 5.5 volts DC without any excitation external excitation with just residual magnetism now I'm connecting a 3 volts battery with a 12 volts bulb in series to check if it is going to excite enough to light up this bulb the bulb did not light up at all because the internal resistance of the drill machine is very high as high as around 70 ohms because of which the circulating current was very less but if we compare the winding resistance of the washing machine motor with this drill machine motor then you will see that the winding resistance of the washing machine motor is very low as low as around 6.6 .6 ohms means 10 times less therefore the current flowing through the washing machine motor windings is going to be 10 times more with 3 volt cell so for that reason I'm going to use this 12 volts 5 ampere supply to excite the winding of the drill machine so guys I have turned on the 12 volt supply and as you can see that it is glowing the bulb at full 12 volts potential so let's connect this 12 volt supply in series with the drill machine and the 12 volts bulb and after that you will see that the bulb is still not glowing even a little bit no glowing filament at all let's measure the current with the help of a multimeter to see the current flowing through the bulb and the windings of the drill machine the current flowing is only 0.18 amperes very less bulb still did not glow which means that I will have to increase the voltage of the supply for the excitation voltage so I'm going to remove the 12 volt supply and replace it with the 32 volts DC supply let's connect it to 220 volts and as you can see that uh, the bulb is glowing not at full brightness but yeah a little bit around uh, 4 or 5 volts as you saw that the bulb completely turned off when I ran it let's try it by reversing the polarity it's running slowly but the brightness of the bulb has increased considerably this means that it is indeed generating electricity I am removing the rubber belt and trying it with hands because the rubber belt was going to get burned out you can see when I turn the shaft of the drill machine the bulb glows a little brighter than it was initially when connected in series with the 32 volt supply so guys here as you can see that this is a 220 volts drill machine which I'm going to use to uh, run this angle grinder at high speed and I have used the same setup as I did with the washing machine motor I have connected this 3 volts lithium ion battery pack in series with the 12 volts bulb and all of them are in series with the angle grinder now uh, this setup is going to work much better because the power rating of the drill machine was only 300 to 350 watts but that of the angle grinder is 850 watts because of which the internal coil resistance of the angle grinder is going to be much lesser so it is going to uh, circulate huge current even with such a small battery okay The question for today is, is it a good idea to use drill machines as electric generators? Also, I'm going to start a contest which is a great opportunity for you guys. To participate, you have to find the question hidden within the video and be the first one to answer it correctly. The first one to give the correct answer will have the following benefits. 
The first benefit is the opportunity to get his or her queries solved through direct discussion with me on Gmail. Or they can also ask me to make a project of their choice. Note that winners will be revealed after 12 hours of the uploaded video in the pinned comment section in my YouTube stories and in the next video or the project video of their choice.